Okay, hi everyone. So it's me, Rosalyn, and now um, I will show you how to fill out the form I-485. So I already have a video how to fill out I-485, but that form, I don't know what happened, but when I download the form to the USCIS website, the expiration date of that form is 2021 and a lot of my subscriber keep on asking me where did you get that form why your form is um 2021 but ours is 2020 so i decided to check the uscis website download the form again and make a video how to fill out that form and basically it's the same it's the same questions but i decided to make a new one okay so now you have to go to google and type i485 then make sure you will download your form through uscis website so click this one and then you already here in the uscis website it says i485 application to register permanent residence or adjust status then scroll down and you will see the link to of form i-485 so click this one and download it so i already downloaded the form and i already answered the form so that i will explain it faster okay so so this is the form i-485 expires october 31st 2020 okay i will just okay there you go so you can see it better so application to register permanent residence or adjust status expires october 31st 2021 okay so so a number you will see your alien registration number on your know what to form i-797 and then you will see at the right side starting with the letter a and then that's your alien number i just want to uh, let you know that my alien number my social security card all the other information that written on this form is not true okay because there are a lot of subscribers asking me why did you put your um information blah 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 so i just want to let you know that that is not real okay <laughs> that is not true information okay so first uh, your family name your given name and then your middle name so when you are applying for i-485 or um, adjustment of status if you want to use your married name make sure uh, all the form the i-485 and then the other form if you will apply for working permit and advance parole you have to use or write your married name okay since i am using my married name on the other names i will use this i will write here my uh, single name or my maiden name so family name will be reyes and then roseline given name and then middle name garcia okay and then that is the only other names that i use so this leave it blank or type not applicable and then your date of birth and then your gender and then city or town of birth okay and then country of birth country of citizenship and then your alien registration number and then the uscis online account number if you has a previous application and you use it online 
the USCIS will give you a online account number but if you did not do that so you don't have an online account number just leave it blank or type nil and then your US social security number so before I apply for my adjustment of status I already applied for my social security number okay and then your US mailing address so in care of name, my name, your street number, your apartment, your suite of floor, your city, your state, and then your zip code. Make sure all the information that you will write or type on this form is accurate, okay, and true, okay? And then on this um, question 14A to 14F, if you are applying based on the Violence Against Women Act or as a special immigrant juvenile human trafficking victim and then you have another address and you are not living to your um, home address you will write it here okay and then recent immigration history your passport number used at last arrival you will see this on your top right passport and then if you have travel document number used just right in here and then expiration date of your passport or travel document of course you will see this on your passport the country issued your visa number from this passport so check your passport I think this is almost at the back of the passport and you will see your visa number okay and then place of last arrival into the United States so city town and then state and then date of last arrival so you will see this on your form I-94 okay and then when I last arrived in the United States I so I click this one 22 a was inspected at the port of entry and admitted as for example exchange visitor visitor wave through temporary worker student so right here fiance visa but on this PDF form I cannot type anything from here okay maybe once you print it out just write use black ink right here fiance visa okay and if you were issued the form i-94 arrival departure record form i-94 arrival departure record number so of course you will see this on your i-94 i have a separate video how to check your i-94 online okay all those all of this question is indicated on your i-94 so expiration date authorized station on form i-94 then status on form i-94 example class of admission or parole if parole so just type fiance visa okay then on this part part one information about you what is your current immigration status so type fiance visa then provide your name exactly as it appears on your form i-94 so whatever name that it appears on i-94 you just need to copy that okay your family name given name then middle name then part two application type or filing category so i am a principal applicant i don't have a derivative applicant derivative is k2 if you have k2 if you have child or children that needs to apply for adjustment of status so that is derivative applicant okay then family based i'm not a family based so that's why i just leave it blank employment no special immigrant no asylum refugee no then human trafficking victim qualified criminal activity no so but if your application is based on family base employment special immigrant or asylum or refugee you have to answer it okay it depends on what application you are okay because i am a fiance visa so i just need to click one okay and then special program no additional options no this is not applicable applicable for me then alien working information it's not applicable for me okay so we go to number 11 are you applying for adjustment based on the immigration nationality act ina section 245i no you can see the explanation of this 
on this separate um, sheet the separate download you will see the instruction let's go back here, here. instruction for form i-485 you will see the explanation of this ina 245i okay just click no and then information about your immigrant category if you are a principal applicant provide the following information so receipt number of underlying petition so this is the receipt number on your notice of action 2 so just check your notice of action 2 or form i-797 you will see this information and then the priority date you will see this also on your NOAA 2 or i-797 okay and then Derivative, I don't have derivative. Under additional information about you. Have you ever applied for immigrant visa to obtain permanent residence status at U.S. Embassy or U.S. Consulate Abroad? So, no. But if you click yes, you have to answer this to A to 4, number 4. Okay. Then address history. Provide physical address of for everywhere you have lived during the last five years, whether inside or outside the United States, provide your current address first. If you need extra space to complete this information, use the space provided in Part 14, Additional Information. So this Part in is the last page of the form. This one here. Okay? You can add it here. If the space provided is not... Um, I mean if you have more addresses okay mm. okay so this is my current address so your street or number and name if you have apartment suite floor the city the state the civ code of course province postal code is not applicable in the country usa so date residence so from and then two two automatically you cannot write anything in here because this is your current as address so so they already know that this is your current address so this you live here present okay that's why you cannot write anything in here and then physical address 2, street number, this is my address in the Philippines, city, town, then province, postal code, then country, so Philippines. So if you have two, two or more addresses for the last five years, so you have to write the other address to the page 14, part 14. Then continuation from and then 2. So make sure your 2 was here november 16 2019 this is my last uh stay in this address or leave in this address november 16 so from so my current address is november 17 2019 okay make sure you need to check that okay then employment history so name of, of employer or company so insurance company I work there, and then the street address, city, province, postal, and country, and then your occupation. And then from and to, okay? And then if you are not working, um, maybe just type here. Mm. unemployed okay if you are not working just type here unemployed and then just write here nil okay then i don't have employee number two just write nil okay and then part four information about your parents so this is my mom information family name given name middle name and then parents first name at birth so this is my mom's um full name when she's still single okay and then date of birth then gender then city country current city then current country then information about your parent too this is my dad's information family name given name middle name and then date of birth then gender is male 
then city makari country philippines so current city and current country since my dad already passed away so just type the sis if not just type in here okay and then what is your current mar marital status so married then if you are married is your spouse a current member of u.s armed forces or u.s coast guard so no how many times have you been married so as uh for me it's only one but if you get married two or three just type in here okay and then information about your current marriage your current spouse legal name so family name given name middle name a number marcus has no alien number because he is a u.s citizen okay current spouse date of birth date of marriage to current spouse and then current spouse place of birth the city the state the country and then place of marriage to current spouse the city then the state then the country then is your current spouse applying with you no and then information about your prior marriages so since i don't have a prior marriages i just leave this blank or just type nil okay and then part six information about your children so we don't have any children so just leave it blank or type nil but if you have you just need to fill this out okay so part seven biographic information ethnicity not hispanic or latino race asian then my height my weight my eye color my hair color then general eligibility and inadmissibility grounds. Have you ever been a member or involved in or in any way associated with an organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club? So I click no. So if you answer yes, you have to fill out this organization. Since I answer it no, I don't need to fill it out or just type nil. Okay? And then general eligibility and inadmissibility grounds continue. Answer item number 1480B. Choose the answer that you think is correct. If you answer yes to any question or if you answer no but are unsure of your answer, provide an explanation of the events or and circumstances in the spaces provided in part 14. So I will not read this one by one because it is a lot. But all of my answer is no. But you need to read it one by one and make sure you will answer it correctly okay and truthfully okay so my answer for all of this is no you have to read it carefully okay no 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 so i will not read it one by one because that is so easy you can answer it by yourself okay okay so declaration of self-sufficiency form i-944 are you exempt from the public charge ground of inadmissibility so my answer is no so on this i will not answer anything because i answered it no okay 63a have you ever failed or refused to attend or to remain in attendance at any removal proceedings filed against you on, on or after April 1, 1997? So my answer is no. So my answer, all of his are no. So you have to read it one by one. Okay. So, okay. Part 9. Are you requesting an accommodation because of your disability and impairment? So no. And then... Select the box for either item number 1A or 1B. If applicable, select the box for item number 2. So 1A, I can read and understand English and I have read and understand every question and instruction on this application and my answer to every question. And then my contact number and then email address. So make sure your contact number and email address are active so they can send you or call you. Okay? And then, so the date and then once i print this make sure you will sign this applicant signature okay so i don't have interpreter i don't have preparers okay and then on this uh portion a number this should be automatic once i write my alien number at the top this should be automatic but since it doesn't uh automatic once you print this 
form you have to write your alien number so just make sure that uh, your PDF automated the A number if not just write your alien number don't forget that okay and then here this is automated also but if not after you print this form you have to fill out this your family name given name and middle name so that's it so if you have any questions clarifications just comment on my video and i will find time to answer it if i don't know the answer i need to research it first before i will answer you because i don't want to just answer it and without knowing that it's not right okay so have a great day everyone bye bye